trying times for the Latin beauty. First, severing ties with Aunt Kitty and her charges, and then having a brawl with her tag team partner, Ashley, during a match. Now virtually a pariah, Red carries on, smiling in the face of adversity. Ladies, Red partner today from Corpus Christi, Texas, Ash And Attaché is nothing but a mercenary, a hired gun, if you will. And she says she's been paid to do a job on Spanish Red. The Marine takes offense to Red wearing the flag on her arm. The Latin beauty has adopted that decal since she came into the ring to defend the colors from the dirty hands of Palestina. challenging they're pulling in with a vicious knee high glow fans motor mouth mike morgan the moves and maneuvers manual in the broadcast booth and tempers are already flaring in this one the mercenary takes red down from a side headlight attache hiding a choke she's centering her attack on the latin beauty's neck he's wasting no time in trying to do some damage Pulling at that neck, and a swinging neck breaker takes it down. Red counters with a head scissors, putting the pressure on her opponent's neck. Both of these scrapplers are extremely aggressive. You can expect a lot of action in this match. Neither one of these girls is going to back down. Venice Red applying the pressure, twisting at that neck. And Attaché does a little twist of her own and court screws out of the hole. The Marine and Red size each other up. She's on a mission to hurt the Latin beauty. She won't reveal who's paying her to do her in, but she intends to collect the full amount. She flings it to the canvas. Red may have taken a shot to the forehead on that takedown, and the mercenary is quick to capitalize on it. Attaché going for the hair, trying to punish her head further. And Red breaks it up with a right to the stomach. She locks her in a side headlock. It may be a choke. Red is a thinking wrestler. Using a hold like this, she's able to weaken Attaché and get the chance to clear her head at the same time. Working her around the ring, cutting off her oxygen supply. Red charges the turnbuckle. She climbs those that and takes her over in a stunning maneuver. She is mad. Both wrestlers on their feet now, and Red charges, and the Marine catches her with the shoulder, knocking the wind out of her. The mercenary follows up, trying to get hold of Red. And she spits in her face. She goes back to the side headlock. So far, that's been the focal point of her attack. And she runs to the corner and duplicates the takedown Red applied earlier. This match has taken the tone of anything you can do, I can do better. And Attaché is doing it at Spanish Red's expense. A boot to her head. She goes for another, but Red catches her. The two of them struggle. The Latin beauty trying to throw her off. Oh, she rakes the forehead with that combat boot. It's apparent that someone gave the order, bring me the head of Spanish Red. And she's been following those instructions to the letter, pounding her forehead since the match began. Red reeling from the blow she's absorbed. The Marine has been methodical and brutal in her assault. Look at that smug look on her face. She's let the Latin beauty get to her feet. That could be a mistake. Red charges, preparing to deck a foe, and oh, the Marine blocks a punch with a billy club. The referee, warning Attaché, trying to break up the mayhem, and she downs Spanish Red before breaking. The Marine drops the weapon at the count, claiming innocence of any wrongdoing and lays into the Latin beauty again, continuing right where she left off. So she's taking full advantage, battering Red. Only someone as cool as this mercenary would twist the rule book for their own corrupt benefit. Yeah. 
and attache feigns compliance again. Meanwhile, her opponent is gasping for air, suffering because of those technicalities, and the referee wisely kicks the weapon out of the ring. Perhaps now the Latin beauty will be able to regroup, not having to worry about being pummeled with that stick. No, the Marine goes right for her weapon, like an obedient dog trained to fetch. The Latin struggles to stay on her feet, trying to get a hold of that belly club, and she flips the Marine over. Attache goes for an unscheduled ride. But she's still hanging on to that stick. Maybe she's afraid to let go of it. It could be some sort of military security blanket for her. Red, Jay, beaten, trying to regain the senses and get back in this match. But the Latin won't go down. She struggles and takes her over with an arm drag. Both Attaché and the weapon go flying. Now both grapplers are down, rolling, facing each other, preparing to attack. And Red grabs the belly club and plows into Attaché. They both go down. And she throws the offensive club out of the ring. She gave the mercenary a taste of what that club feels like. Red grabs her in a side headlock. Now catching both arms in what appears to be an inverted full Nelson. She works the hold, applying pressure to those arms. Showing the Marine she's a force to be reckoned with, and Attaché doesn't like to be on the receiving end. Red really pulling, straining those muscles, perhaps hoping for a submission. She cinches down on her opponent, putting all her weight on her. She has her up. This could be a suplex. No, Red still weak, loses her footing, and they both go down. But the Latin keeps her arms locked about the mercenary. She pulls her up again. And into a backbreaker. Spanish Red always thinking, able to convert a slip into a advantage. And Attaché feels the pressure now. Her back muscles being stretched to the limit. Now the Latin has their up, poised to add a little spin. And the Marine joins the air core, crashing down to the mat. And no parachute to break the fall. Her back must be aching. She's probably wondering if it was worth taking this hit job now, especially after the pain she's in. Red setting up her opponent with a leg pull. Stomping on her back. Now she grabs both legs, rearing back into a Boston crab. She's been employing a punishing array of submission holes, making her pay for that billy club attack. Attaché in agony now. And Red slams head first into the mat. Both wrestlers down, disoriented and in pain. The mercenary clutching her back in pain and also full of anger. She struggles to her feet and grabs Spanish Red by the hair. She forces her throat against the ropes and plants both knees against her shoulders, choking her viciously. Even without her weapon, the mean Marine can inflict pain illegally. She breaks the hold and spits at the crowd. She pulls her up and Red looks out of it. She's taken a lot of punishment in this match. Attaché setting her up for something. She has her up in the air. It looks like she's going for a spine breaker, planning to smash her on one knee. And the Latin beauty flips out of it, catching her in a wrist lock. Red holding that arm tight. She locks her up and into a bear hug. Again, applying a painful submission hold. She holds her up. Oh, into a belly-to-back suplex. And a pinning combination. Red Bridges, but Attaché swarms out at the count of two. Both wrestlers are near exhaustion. They've been going at it, hammer and tongs without a let-up for some time now. Spanish Red, trying to snap out of it and take charge. She grabs her by the hair. She pulls her up, keeping her hand locked tight on that military gut. Still maintaining her grip, despite warning from the referee. And she hurls her into the rope and climbs up and over and takes her down in a cheerleader role. Attaché landing flat on her back. Red grabbing her by the hair again, dragging her up into a side headlock. Latin setting her opponent up. The mercenary struggles and she holds that with a knee to the midsection. She's going for a suplex. Almost. And yes, up and over in a tremendous maneuver. Again, the Marine taking the impact on her raking back. She'll probably spend all day tomorrow at the chiropractor. Red pulling her up by the hair. Trying to rattle her brains a little. Shaking her furiously. Now yanking her up. And screaming at her. Attaché spitting in her face. And Spanish Red giving it right back. Windmilling her around the ring. She throws her into the rope. He rolls her up and she's got her in the Spanish press. Forcing her opponent down. 
Bouncing all the way down a... And there's the count. Red is victorious. I think we should take those tonsils out. All right. And the rest of you can come along as a chaperone.